Anin, Sego. Hello everyone and welcome back to our Healthy School Snack series for the month of October. This week we're going to be making some rainbow veggie pinwheels. These veggie tortilla roll-ups are light, quick, fresh, and super easy to make. Not only do they taste great, but they're full of color and loaded with veggies, so they're healthy too. For today's recipe, we need some wraps or soft tortillas, cucumber, peppers, red, yellow, green, orange, whatever colors you like, cream cheese, and everything bagel seasoning. We're also going to need a few things from around the kitchen. So I'd suggest a cutting board. We're going to use a sharp knife to cut up those vegetables, a butter knife to spread our cream cheese, and some Tupperware for anything left over. Now before we get started, we need to remember to wash all of our produce. So go ahead, give it a good wash, grab the ingredients and the items from around the kitchen you need, and then we'll get started. So you can see my peppers have been washed, they're still a little wet. I've got a container here with some paper towel on the bottom for the things that I've sliced and another container here to throw my scraps into. We're just going to go ahead and cut our peppers the way we generally would. Popping off the top, taking out that little core there and trying to get rid of the seeds. We're just going to cut our peppers into small, thin pieces, something that might resemble a little matchstick, because we want to make sure that they'll fit nicely into our tortilla. And here you can see approximately the size, and oh, there's a seed, it looks like I forgot. Just go ahead and cut up the rest of your peppers. Depending on how many of these you're planning to make, you may only want to cut up half of each of your peppers, or you might want to go ahead and cut them all. In the event that you're going to save some of your peppers, the best way to store your peppers once you've already started to cut them is just to put them into a plastic bag or a plastic container along with some paper towel. The paper towel will just absorb any extra moisture that comes out of the pepper. Typically they'll last anywhere from three to four days. So don't forget about them once you put them in the fridge. It's hard sometimes, especially once we've got paper towel in the container or bag and we can't really see what's in there. The scraps I'm throwing into the extra Tupperware container are because you can always use these vegetable scraps to make a vegetable broth at home. And there I've got an assortment of colored peppers. I feel like that's pretty good for the amount of pinwheels or roll-ups I'm going to be making, so I'm just going to clean this up. and I'll be storing the rest of these. Now it's time for our cucumber. We've already started using this in the house. I don't know why I do this. It was something my mom taught me when I was younger. I always cut off the end of an English cucumber and then rub it. Apparently it takes out some of that sour taste. I don't even know if it's true. I just know that it's become a habit over time. So we're gonna go ahead with our cucumber and again, cut that into small, thin slices. Mini or baby cucumbers would work really well with this particular recipe. However, I just feel that the larger English cucumber is a little more versatile. So you can see I just chose a smaller chunk and I'm just slicing both halves. And But that's about all I'm gonna use. I'm not sure why I threw those ones over there, but here we go. So this is the amount of cucumber that I've cut for, for today. Mm -hmm. 
Now we've got our cream cheese, our wrap, our cucumbers, and our peppers. So the first thing we're going to do is spread some cream cheese out onto our wrap or tortilla. Just needs to be a nice smooth thin layer. It's approximately two tablespoons that we're using. And then we've got our everything bagel seasoning. So sprinkle just a little bit of that onto the cream cheese. Now we're ready to create a bit of a rainbow. I'm gonna start with cucumbers. They're a little bigger, so I'm just gonna choose those to start with. And now for my peppers, I'll add in some orange, some yellow, and some green. I don't know what happened to my red pepper. Now I'm gonna to start to roll this and I've got about half of that tortilla still left over. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and create another row of veggies. So again, just repeating the pattern, starting with the cucumbers, adding in the orange peppers, then the yellow, and just continue to roll. Now I'm just gonna slice it into small chunks and pop it into a small Tupperware or plastic container. And it is a perfect addition to a lunch dish. There you have your rainbow vegetable pinwheels. Just a couple other things. When it comes to storing your roll-ups or pinwheels, you can store any leftover pinwheels in a sealed container in the fridge. They'll last up to four days as long as they've been kept in the fridge and they make fantastic snacks for on the go or if you need a quick and easy pick-me-up. There are some variations you can do with your pinwheels. You may consider adding some chicken if you've had some for dinner the night before. Adding chicken makes the veggie pinwheels even more hearty and filling because you've added that extra protein. You could add some black olives if that's something that your children like. You could slice or chop them up. They'd be an extra additional color in your pinwheels. You could also add some green onions. Uh, you could thinly slice those and then sprinkle them into the roll-ups. Or if you're feeling extra adventurous, you could try using a flavored cream cheese. There's a lot to choose from, and as long as you go with one that would taste good with the other ingredients or the other veggies, then odds are it's still going to taste delicious. Send us some pictures and let us know what you think of today's recipe. Until next time, Ona!